Hello all, welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about uh, MCP and how can you integrate Atlassian MCP server and use it like Jira for Jira and Confluence with a simple prompt. You can execute actions on a cloud. So let's see how it goes. So first of all, let's talk about MCP. MCP is a model controls protocol which provides a unified way to provide the context to LLM. Like uh, as you can see in this image, there are multiple MCP servers for there is a separate server for calendar, mail, Slack and uh, local data storage. We connect that all the servers to the MCP client and that with the help of MCP host executes action. Uh, the difference between a normal API and using an MCP is that uh, without an MCP, we need to configure multiple APIs and it becomes very complex to provide the context with a single API that's why we use MCP here you can you, you can see the differences between MCP and API like uh, there is a need to separately configure all the APIs uh, and MCP provides a single uh, way a single and standardized way to connect then real-time communication is possible in MCP dynamic tool discovery scalability and security and control that are the differences in MCP and traditional APIs as you can see. Let's uh, talk about features of MCP, single protocol, dynamic tool discovery and two-way communication. Uh, here's the architecture of MCP as you can see. Uh, let's first talk about the local data source file. Uh, local data source files and remote service. Uh, we can access it by simple APIs and it all are integrated into one MCP server. That MCP server can be uh, used by clients and clients which provides the context to the hosts and it executes the action. Mm, here are some uh, resources that I'll put in the description you can see. Now we'll talk about how you can integrate uh, uh, MCP servers uh, official repository here they have the various uh, servers which are uh, official servers some community servers in that well, there is one server for the Atlassian we will use this to connect confidence and Jira so this is the repository uh, as you can see in this video you are just uh, prompting the action that you want to take and it automatically executes the thing like creating tasks, updating tasks etc so for that you will need an API token of your Atlassian account. Okay, so just go to this uh, uh, this URL. Uh, you will get an API token from here. Just create it, and uh, you need to then once you created the API token, you need MCP servers official repository. Here they have the various uh, servers which are uh, official servers some community servers in that well, there is one server for the Atlassian we will use this to connect confidence and Jira so this is the repository uh, as you can see in this video you are just uh, prompting the action that you want to take and it automatically executes the thing like creating tasks, updating tasks etc so for that you will need an API token of your Atlassian account. Okay, so just go to this uh, uh, this URL. Uh, you will get an API token from here. Just create it, and uh, you need to then once you created the API token, you need to install this library with the help of UV. So what is UV? UV is a new package manager. Uh, which is built in Rust and provide a blazing speed for Python package management. Once you have installed this uh, MCP Atlassian's UA, MCP Atlassian's module, then just configure this. If you are using a configure this by if you are using a cloud, just your uh, company's name and Atlassian's URL, your personal email, and the API token that you have created by visiting that link. So that one and for server and data centers, you just need a API token. There are two types of transport in MCP. 
वन इज एस एस सी ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज एस टी डी आई ओ ट्रांसपोर्ट सो एस एस सी ट्रांसपोर्ट इज यूजफुल वेन यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट विद अ क्लाउड और अ रिमोट सर्वर एंड एस टी डी आई ओ वेन यू हैव अ लोकल सेटअप एंड यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट दे सो यू कैन चूज दी ऑप्शन विच यू वॉन्ट टू चूज यू कैन यूज एस एस सी एंड एस टी डी आई ओ एज वंस यू आर डन दिस जस्ट कॉपी दिस कमांड एंड नाउ वी वील यूज वी एस कोड नाउ वील सी नाउ वील सी हाउ कैन यू इंटीग्रेट दैट सर्वर इन वी एस कोड जस्ट गो टू एन एक्सटेंशन एंड स्वेच फॉर क्लाइन एंड इंस्टॉल इट वंस यू हैव इंस्टॉल दिस एक्सटेंशन यू कैन सी ओ There's an line icon in VS Code's right side. Just open it, and here once you start, you'll see the two options. The one is to get login and use free credits, or just enter your API key and use this. So I have entered my OpenAI API key. Here are multiple API providers that you can choose, and you can see Olama for the usage of local LLM block. Dipsic, Mistral, various elements are available. Now to integrate MCP server or Kotla chain, just come to here. Here you will see the MCP Martlet bus. It provides the uh, various MCP server, uh, client MCP server. When I search for Google, there is a server for Google Calendar, Sudbirds, and all. Uh, if I search for Notion, there is a MCP server for Notion. You just install it and Client will handle all the backend. You don't need to come see first. Uh, as we have installed it in our directory, we'll add our MCP server. Just as I told you, there are two types of transfer. One is remote transfer when you are using a cloud or and cloud or a remote uh, desktop. And there is a second option, local command. Then uh, in when in it. That you have that uh, MCP's server is installed in your local desktop. Just so, just click on this client MCP settings dot JSON and paste the thing that uh, we have copied from the GitHub repo of that and change the just change the your API key and all. And once you have created this, just close it, save it, and close it. Okay, then just say for get done. Now here is type something that you want to see. Uh, like I see the create and if you in Jira for a project with project P. Is name is Jira MCP test and the description is test for Jira's MCP server. Let's go. This uh, you can see the uh, request is there. And it will ask us to approve the request. Yes, it for is it is there on the identified all the information that we have provided in the form. Just approve it, and now it will provide the create the. Yes, it has created an issue in GitHub. Let's see if it has been created or not. Oh, so this is my Jira, and this yes, you can see there it has created the Jira MCP test. It has been just created, and you can also delete this uh, issue. So what's the key for this? Eight twenty. Let's say uh, delete. The issue with key eight twenty from 
project with project in A2. Now, with this, uh, it can it will delete this uh, issue that we have created. Yes, it has identified that we want to delete that, and we just need to approve here. As once we approve this, yes, the task is completed, and just uh, refresh this place to see if the issue is deleted on there. Yes, the issue is successfully deleted. There are multiple actions uh, that you can get with it with Jira, like getting the issue of specific Jira issue. Uh, searching for issue, getting projects issue, getting epic issue. There are multiple uh, Jira actions that you can take from this uh, just by a prompt. So it and with if you want some more details, just provide more details that it can use. Now we'll see uh, how it can be implemented in Cursor. So Cursor is an AI IDE. Uh, it provides an inbuilt search function or an agent that will help us to code. Now, to add a MCP server, just go to cursor setting, come to MCP and click here, add new global MCP server. It will get us to mcp.json file. Paste the same thing that we have pasted in client's uh, MCP JSON file. Uh, just change the API token and all. And, uh, and uh, it, it can show that the server is enabled. We can try, we can give it from like get the information of how to issue project in project in AAT. You can also add the your project name also if you work with that. Now it has identified the what action to take. Just click on the run tool and it will use the top issue. Come to add some more functionality to this server. Just uh, for this GitHub repo, add your code if uh, it's for Jira or Confluent. Uh, yes, I'll show you. Just go to Jira. Add your, your code. So what is in issue project and all. And just uh, once you added your code and the same thing just go to that directory initialize this server and you will be able to get all your uh, custom actions performed with the mcp server